The Classic and Modern Motorsport South Club return to action at Lydon Hill with the Super Saloons. The series this year is proudly supported by Martin Scott's Bitterden Motor Racing Services. Five separate classes would take to the track early on the 24th of April 2021 for qualifying. Classes A, B, C, D and also Invitational category for Super Saloons this season. With limited track time available at Lydon Hill before the event, many of the drivers were taken to the track for the first time in qualifying and possibly that showed. Many people, including your presenter, ended up getting track limit penalties for going over the white lines and getting their lap times validated. Regardless, it was a great lap in qualifying by Andrew McKenzie for his BMW E46 on pole position with a 45.6. In Class B, Paul Watson took pole position in his M3. In Class C, Martin Scott in his M3 taking pole position in class. Then in Class D, somehow your presenter ended up on pole position and the Invitational's put in some fantastic lap times, Tom Bridger especially second on the grid in his Invitational, so to Scarlet GT Turbo. I'll hand you over to the commentator for the race start. And it will be Andrew McKenzie, number 67, who will control the pace at the head of the pack. Alongside is Tom Bridger in the little Toyota. And we are about to go racing for the second time today at Lytton Hill. First time we see the Super Saloons. We're green and go. And it's a good start from a little Toyota of Tom Bridger, who's going to go alongside the BMW down into Chessons for the first time. Can't make the move stick. And it is Andrew McKenzie who holds the advantage through the first corner, but Bridger is sticking with him. A good fight further back with Martin Scott losing out to Graham Hurd for third spot. And up the inside comes the front wheel drive VW Scirocco of Steve Dan. The first few laps saw drivers overtaking left, right and centre, which is no easy feat around Lynn Hill's tight and twisty circuit. It was also the first races of the season for the drivers, so a bit of rustiness was to be expected. But it didn't show everyone kept it clean out on track with some fantastic racing and some drivers making their way through the field from the back. Two drivers had big struggles in qualifying, one of which was Paul Watson. He'd switched to a Ford Sierra Cosworth to the race, but then it was Rod Burley and his formidable Ford Escort WRC charging through the field to try and take the class honours and also the overall victory. Overtakes were happening on the drivers through the midfield and then past the Toyota Scarlet as well. He was chasing down the leading driver, Andrew McKenzie, in his BMW E46 and he eventually managed to get past with a great overtake. Needing to be careful because he was also racing with our friends in the modified Ford categories on the same day, so I wanted to make sure no damage, no contact was made. Nonetheless, a very good race once again from Andrew McKenzie, continuing on from that stellar performance in qualifying to take home second place on the road after a great drive around Lyndon Hill. Possibly the surprise in qualifying was the Toyota Scarlet of Tom Bridger, a fantastic lap putting him on the front row of the grid. However, it wasn't so simple in the race for him. He was involved in an intense midfield battle and one that was important because it was trying to get third place on the overall podium as well as also trying to get class victories as well. Steve Dan put on a spectacular show in his Volkswagen Sirocco, making some fantastic moves around Lyndon Hill, which is formidable because it is very tight and very twisty, so not always the easiest place to overtake. Regardless, Steve Dan would end up going one and a half seconds quicker than he did in qualifying into race number one, a huge amount of time he was able to find around the Lyndon Hill motor racing circuit. And once again, he was involved in this intense battle for third place on the road, trying to secure class victory as well. The battle for third was really hotting up. Three of them are getting very close now because Graham Hurd's going to lose a place to Steve Dan. Here they go door to door down Dover Slope into the Devil's Elbow. Graham Hurd goes very defensive into the left-hander at the elbow. Steve Dan tries to overlap as they go on the exit. He's going to go high and wide into North Bend Hairpin and try and be brave right around the outside here. This is brave stuff from Steve Dan. They rub, there's a little bit of touch in between the two, but Steve Dan has just been unable to get through there. Graham Hurd's put in a good defensive drive here. The leaders have checked out, they're in a different postcode now, but this battle over fourth place with Graham Hurd's BMW keeping the Volkswagen Scirocco of Steve Dan at bay. Martin Scott's in there as well, so too is the Sierra, which started from the very rear of the grid. We've got the Vauxhall Astra of Presswell in there as well. They're all having a very, very close battle. Presswell, who was entered in the tin tops, switched across into the saloon. 
This battle for third overall would continue on for the rest of this race and finish with a spectacular overtake from Steve Dan on the final corner of the last lap of the race on the Toyota Scarlet to came third place overall. Bold and decisive, he got third place overall and also his class win. Great stuff from Steve down there to get the overtake done so late on. Bit of a shame for Tom Bridger who's driving a fantastic race. Unfortunate to lose out on the final corner. Taking class B victory, Steve Dan did a great job considering he started third place within class on the day. Then within class C, it was a really good drive from Graham Hurd and his BMW M3. He was involved in this battle for third place overall, managed to keep it out of the wars and managed to bring home a great result in class for himself. As mentioned, it was a great comeback drive for Paul Watson in his Ford Sierra Cosworth after starting near the back of the grid after troubles in qualifying, the comeback drive was pretty spectacular. The midfield battle was intense throughout and that looked to continue on in the second race later on in the day. If we look down to Class D, it was a spectacular drive for Nick Wall in his fantastic Ford Fiesta. Putting in a fastest lap of a 49.2, much quicker than his qualifying lap and the presenters qualifying pole position. He managed to storm away in Class D way ahead of the likes of myself and the formidable golf of Ken Hunt. All of us battling for Class D honours and trying to get second place was myself who needs to get an overtake done after getting a terrible start dropping down to the very back of the field. Eventually that overtake come down the inside of Ken Hunt, spectacular racing with him this action was set to continue in the second race of the day after lunch in the afternoon of the 24th of April. A tight schedule and a quick turnaround within the CMMCS as everything took place on the same day. Race 2 looked to be an easy one for Rob Burley but it wasn't the case because Andrew McKenzie kept him on his toes throughout putting in a string of consistent and fast lap times making sure that Rod couldn't just relax out in front. And as with race one, the mid-pack was absolutely insane. Great racing from all of the drivers, keeping it clean as well. Loads of side-to-side -side racing, making sure that this was an entertaining one throughout. It's also worth noting some of the spectacular work done by the Lyddon Hill crew, including one of the racers, Matthew Bennett, in his golf, who managed to turn around the track after a big accident within the tin top category. They got the track turned around for the Super Saloons race in just under an hour. So fantastic job from everyone at the circuit and it is greatly appreciated by everyone as it made sure that the whole day ran on schedule as all of us, of course, would like. Down the back of the field, your presenter was once again trying to make an overtake on his rival within Glass Ken Hunt and finally managed to do so, this time a little bit earlier on in the race. The two Class A cars had driven up the road, but there was a spectacular battle once again for third place on the road. The Toyota Scarlet and the BMW E46 of Martin Scott were battling over who would be third place on the overall podium. This time it had gone to Tom Bridger in his Toyota Scarlet, but Martin Scott managed to get Class C victory over his great rival Graham Hurd, both of them in their BMW M3s. Within Class C, it was a great drive from Ronan Bradley to bring home his BMW in Class B victory. He managed to put a fastest lap in of a 47.923 in this second race of the day. Great job from him, and with the Class D, once again, Nick Wall put in a fantastic drive, setting in the fastest lap in class as well, but this time your presenter was a little bit closer, one-tenth off Nick Wall's fantastic fastest lap. Other notable drives that we need to speak about, Matthew Bennett first and foremost who was repairing the track on lunch as he is a part of the Lyddon Hill crew, he managed to get out and get in his car and race and take second place within the Invitational Super Saloons category with a great lap of a 49.670. Andrew Presswell who was expected to race in the tin tops did a great job when transferring over to the Super Saloons in his Vauxhall Astra. It's worth mentioning too that today's race was taking part as the Robert Bridger Memorial Trophy. Of course in memory of him and it was a great drive from Rod Burley to take the overall victory and take the trophy as well. Great stuff from him to come back especially after a tough qualifying session. The club would like to say thank you to everyone that has made it out to Lyddon Hill within all of the categories as well. It was fantastic to see all of the cars out on track. So as mentioned, Rod Burley was the overall victor in race number two. Andrew McKenzie coming home not far behind in second place. Tom Bridger, third place on the road and winning the Invitational Super Saloons. Martin Scott was the winner in Class C and in Class B the winner was Ronan Bradley. Class D's victor was Nick Wall. 
It's not long before we're back out in action once again with the Super Saloons, the 8th and 9th of May at Brands Hatch GP, and we'll be looking forward to bringing you a video of that very soon. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in a few weeks for those videos.